Hey, what's up friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. So as I promised last week that I would make a second video to follow up with the terminology that I talked about in uh, the video last week. We are going to go through again a list. So let's start with a sleeper track. So you probably hear us talk about sleepers and day cabs and so on. A sleeper track is a track that has a, a bed or two beds in it. Usually trucking companies that have drivers that go out like as regional drivers or uh, OTR drivers as we discussed in the other uh, video. Uh, those drivers sleep in trucks. Um, now there are companies out there that will, will let will give drivers uh, room, um, hotel allowances to sleep in hotels but most of the trucking companies have sleeper trucks and so drivers sleep in those trucks. Now if a truck has one bed of course uh, that is probably a solo driver but uh, there are also trucks that have double beds one down and one above and so those drivers uh, can even have somebody in their truck or they can drive as a team but a sleeper truck is technically uh, speaking a truck with a bed and then you have a day cab of course a day cab is uh, what we as uh, local drivers um, drive in other words there's no bed it's just a, a driver seat and a passenger seat that's it uh, so those we call those day cabs and then you've probably heard of a uh, drive van what does drive van mean drive van is just um the container or the uh, the trailer that doesn't have anything special like refrigerated stuff or what it's just a container or trailer that we use to transport dry goods that's why they call it a dry van it's just like a box that we use to transport dry goods and then we have refrigerated just like from the word itself refrigerated it's just a container that has a river on it attached and so that river blows cold air in the container and so we call that a refrigerated a trailer or refrigerated container so that's when you hear somebody talk about that maybe they they do refrigerated it means they run stuff that is temperature controlled like maybe ice cream um, stuff that needs to be in refrigerators that will go in refrigerated containers then you probably have heard of flatbed flatbed is just like there is no container there is there's no box it's just a flat just like the word flatbed and so if you've seen um trailers where they just put stuff on there usually it's like metal stuff and then they just tie that stuff down that is what uh, they call a flatbed just um, something that will carry something that maybe can't fit in um, can't fit in a trailer or it that is not it's not really something meant to travel within a box maybe because it could damage other box or it's so long or it's so wide those things go on what we call a flatbed if you've heard of a uh, tankers tankers are uh, just like the word it's uh, you've seen those uh, those trucks that maybe haul milk uh, fuel um, some hazmat stuff oil those tankers water those are all uh, like tankers so if you see a trailer like a, a truck pulling a, a something that is usually round or oval that's a, a a tanker so we call those tankers and then you've probably heard of doubles doubles are just um you will see a truck that has two uh, two trailers or sometimes in some states it's even three trailers those are called triples so when you see a truck that that has two different containers pulling two containers those are doubles if it's pulling three those are triples there are some states out there that even i think do more more than three but those are what we call doubles or triples and then um when it comes to trailer sizes the most common trailer size is gonna be a 53 a feet trailer and a 48 so 53 is the most common most of the trucks you see out there on the road refrigerated and um, dry vans most of them those long ones are just 53 feet wide i mean 53 feet long but 
the next one to read is gonna be a 48 so usually 53 and 48 feet are what you will see out there but there are also other um, other sizes especially like in containers I've seen one that is even short like a 20 feet container there are uh, 40s I believe and 45s and then for the doubles I think those are 28 feet you know the ones that um, pull doubles I think those are 28 I don't know I know they were trying to increase the length uh, because I think uh, like maybe like the FedEx guys and UPS were trying to see if they would let them um, increase the length I don't know if that has occurred but most of them are 28. Uh, I think they wanted to be able to increase them to maybe 30 or 30 something. I don't know exactly the number. But the most common sizes that you're gonna see out there at customers are going to be 53s and 48s. Um, and then you've heard us maybe talk about hazmat. Hazmat is uh, hazardous material. So uh, there are some guidelines on transporting hazardous material. Of course, as you can tell, if it's hazardous, it's going to be dangerous. So um, hazards, uh, sometimes when you are when you are transporting hazardous material they will even uh, require you to put on what we call placards so that it can help people know that uh, you are carrying hazardous material and what kind of hazardous material you are carrying so when you hear somebody asking oh do you have hazmat chances are they are asking if on your license you have an endorsement uh, to do with ha uh, with hazmat when you decide to get your license you can get a plain license that just has um, I've, I've even had the most plain one which even doesn't have air brakes but if you want to become a truck driver it's advisable that you get air brakes and all that does is it gives you the authority to be able to drive um, trucks that use air brakes most of the trucks out there we use air air as a, a way to to help us in in the braking system so you have uh, when you get your license you will need to get a license uh, a class a with air brakes and then uh, of course that's uh, they will even test you on that on how uh, the uh, air, uh, air brakes work but um, the other thing you can do you can add endorsements on your li license so one of the endorsements you can add is the hazmat endorsement which gives you uh, permission to be able to carry or to um, to be able to to drive hazardous material now you can choose not to but uh, sometimes it's better to, to get it because it, it helps you earn more money in some instances uh, for example here at, um, at JB Hunt intermodal local I know that if you get a hazardous material uh, load that is $25 more for that particular load but um, the other thing is for you to drive like doubles and triples you will also need what they call a doubles um, uh, endorsement for you to be able to carry um, tankers to drive tankers you will again need a tankers endorsement so on top of the class a there are endorsements that you can help to be able to help you uh, maybe widen the cycle uh, the circle of the jobs that you can do and the companies you can get into so doubles hazmat and uh, tankers is one of the ways for you to increase your opportunities as you look for jobs um, the other thing of course uh, when you look at the whole truck it's divided into the tractor the tractor would technically be uh, should I just call it the head that pulls the trailer so you have the tractor then you have the trailer which both of those uh, make what we call the truck and then you've probably heard us talk about bobtail bobtail usually when we use the word bobtail is we mean that um, you are driving without the trailer you are just driving the tractor the head part without the trailer so you'll hear somebody say that oh i'm just gonna go bobtail or if your manager tells you just bobtail over to the customer all they are telling you to do is go ahead and don't you don't need a, a um, an empty or you don't need uh, anything to pull anything just go with the tractor that is what we call bobtail and sometimes also bobtail is used like for um for for small trucks like the 
what is it straight uh, straight uh, tracks sometimes you'll hear those also referred to as bobtail but really bobtail what we mean by that is driving the tractor without the um, uh, the trailer or driving the truck without the trailer and then uh, again you'll hear us maybe say things like dead he deadhead what deadhead means it just means that uh, for example you go somewhere to pick up a, a, a load and then you deliver it somewhere and then after delivering it you get an empty and they they just tell you to go somewhere else when you go somewhere without a load that is called a deadhead I don't know why, why really they call it deadhead. I'm thinking because they're not making any money off of it, like dead head. You are heading somewhere dead, like without any load that is going to pay them. I don't know if that is really um, why they call it, but I'm just thinking that's uh, what they mean by deadhead. But it just means that you are driving to a customer or to a location without a load. So you are just going empty. That is a we just call it dead head so in case you hear of that and then tandems when you hear of tandems what tandems are on the truck and trailer just think of i'm trying to remember the name of what we call them axles right so you have axles like on the trailer you have two axles together uh, those two axles that are together are called a, uh, we call that tandem and then you have of course like uh, that uh, the truck has two axles that are kind of like if you had the trailer and tractor they would be like in the middle that is also called a tandem so when you hear of tandems really um, sometimes you may hear like when I talked on the other video about uh, scaling a load you may need to slide your tandems for you to balance out the, the load in the uh, in the future I'll probably do a video talking about that but when they talk about sliding tandems they are just meaning for you changing the location of those uh, of those axles. We call those tandems. The only last thing that I wanted uh, I want to let you know is how to count tires on a uh, like on a truck. So because for example, say uh, now that summer is coming up, in the summer that's when usually we get a lot of um, problems with. Um, um, uh, with tires because of the heat and you know like the truck is moving and then the friction there's a lot of uh, tire blowout and so sometimes when they call you or when you call in um, a problem and you say uh, you have uh, a tire blowout they may ask you uh, what tire so you need to give them the location of your tire so the way to count really tires uh, the simple way to think about it is always start um, we the truck has 18 wheels right 18 tires so what you want to do is you want to start counting from the driver's side and then you're gonna go just like that like kind of in a zigzag going from the driver's side to the passenger and then you come back on the driver's side to the passenger you're just gonna go from uh, left to right counting starting with the passenger so it will be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen i know it's kind of weird for me to explain it like that but i don't know if you get the idea because there's no way like, uh, like i'm not right now with a truck to explain it to you maybe probably i'm thinking about it right now maybe when um, i go out to work i'll try and do it at work to kind of help you understand what i mean by the way you count them but uh, generally you just start at the driver's side moving from left to right and then you just go down so whatever tire you need to be replaced you just tell them oh my tire is out which tire they ask you which tire and you say tire number 15 they will know exactly what you're talking about so that's um one of the things that you also may want to know or learn about um so i think i've covered most of the terms that you're gonna hear us use as truck drivers at least for you to as you come into the industry or as you learn uh, the industry those are the basic terms that you will need to know when you start driving trucks you may learn about other other terms and get to know other terms but those uh, that I've covered in this video and those that I covered in the first video are going to be most of the terms 
that you'll hear us use and so if you know those things then it will become easier for you to understand us when we are talking um, about anything to do with tracking all right guys until next time stay blessed and stay safe bye bye